silver. And today I'm going to be reading a book. And again, Carol's not going to be with me. She's in her room. Okay, I'll show you. The book is called Bones. Look at the back. It says Green Cupcake. Yuck. You see that? Okay. Bones and the Cupcake Mystery. Sorry, I got skip the page. Six pages. Okay. Good morning, I said to Mr. Greedy, the bus driver. Good morning, Detective Bones, Mr. Green said. That's me. I'm Jeffrey Bones. I'm a de I'm a detective. I solve mysteries. Once I even helped Mr. Green find his big yellow bus. Sit with me, not me. Amy called. I I like not me, Amy. So I sat with her. How are you? She asked. Cold, I said. Not me, not me, Amy said. I'm hot. She always says not me. That's why she called not me. Me, Amy. So I, I looked at not me, Amy. She had on a coat. She had a, on a coat, a hat, gloves, and a scarf. You're hot, I said, because you're, you're dressed for winter and you're sitting in a heated bus. Not me, Amy took off her hat, scarf, and gloves. She opened her coat. Then she opened her lunch bag and took out a, her sandwich. You look a, you like, um, am, American cheese, right? Emory can cheese on white bread, she said. Yes, I do, I told her. Not me, not me, Amy said. I like this. It's apple mint jelly on a whole, on whole white wheat bread. Yuck, I thought. Not me, Amy showed me the rest of her lunch. She took out kiwi slices, grapefruit juice, and a spoon. A spinach noodle cupcake with green icing. Yuck, Yuck I thought again. <sighs> well, I said, look what I brought. I opened my detective bag. A, a code breaker, detective powder, and a walkie-talkie, I said. And I took everything out. Je Jeffrey... Amy, Mr. Green called to us. Are you going to school? Mr. Green had stopped the bus in front of the school. It, all the other children were already off the bus. Oh my, not me, Amy said. Let's hurry. We, click, we, we quickly put, put our things away and hurried off the bus. Good morning, Mr. Gale said. He's our teacher. He's so nice. Every day he lets me take one thing out from my detective bag and keep it on my desk. What will it be today, Mr. Gale asked. I, look in, I looked in my detective bag. Detective powder, I said. And I took it out. I may, I may need it. I knew I would need my book, so I took took it out too. We 
read, read, and read in the class, or read. And Mr. Gill taught us math. Math is about numbers. Then he gave us homework. Jane said, I hate homework. Someone said, not me, I love homework. And you know who that someone was. It was not me, Amy. At lunch, <coughs> I said, I sat next to not me, Amy. I, I took out my sandwich. Am American cheese on white bread. Not me, Amy took out hers. Apple mint jelly and whole white bread. Wait, whole wheat bread. <laughs> Yuck, I thought. <clears throat> she drank her right fruit juice. Yuck, I thought again. She put on her glove, reached into her lunch back then, and said, Hey, who took my sp spinach noodle cupcake? Guys, you know why it's not Spanish noodle cupcake? Because there are no A's. So without an A, it would be Spanish. Spa Spanish. But right now it's Spanish. And if you write a, a right here, it's Spanish. No one would take your cupcake, Jane said. We don't take things that belong to us, Tom Dad. We also don't eat spinach noodle cupcakes. This is a mystery, Jane said. Jane, Tom, and not me, Amy, looked at me. <coughs> I know you brought the cupcake to school, I said. You showed it to me on the bus. The open of my detective bag. It's not in there, not me, Amy said. I knew that. Of course your cupcake is not in here, I said. The detective powder is. And I sprinkled the, the powder on the table. I looked at the, it for the for clues. <coughs> Jane, Tom, and not me, Amy, look to. You're not solving a mystery, Tom said. You're making a mess. Tom was right. I was making a mess. I went to the kitchen to ask, ask Mike for paper towels. Hi, he said to me, then gave me a cup of carrots. They're good for your eyes, he told me. Thanks, I said. I reached in the cup. Hey, look. I said and left. My carrots have bones in them. Mike looked at me, but he didn't laugh. It's a joke, I told Mike. What? That sounds weird. Deep. Guys, they, I think the illustrators make it wrong. It must be... Whoa! Looks weird. Is it a joke I told Mike? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. My name is Bones and I hand... Was in the cup of kids. Oh, Mike said. You know who? No, he told me. A carrot is a vegetable, and, veg and vegetables don't have bones. I knew that. <coughs> I, <coughs> I told him, Mike, about the mess on my table. And asked if I could have some paper towels. Sure, Mike said. He reached into a roll of towels, and it fell even before the towels hit the floor. I thought, that's it! 
I've solved the mystery of the missing cupcake. I hurried back to the table. Where did you put your lunch? I asked Mom. Miami, right here, I said. She pointed to her lunch bag. No, where was it while we were in class? It was in the closet, she said, on the shelf above the coats. And I smiled at her <coughs> and told her, The bag was open. Your cupcake might, must fell out. Rachel, not Miami. The kiwi slice is... Slices, slice is. Then <coughs> she threw the bag away, and and said, "Let's go." Not yet, I told her. First, I had to wipe up the detective powder. When I was done, I threw the, away the towels and my empty lunch bag. Then, not me, Amy, and walked. And I walked. Back to class. Welcome back, Mr. Gillas said. I told him about the cupcake. This is a mystery, Mr. Gill said. The mystery of the missing cupcake. Do you think you can solve it? I already did, I said. Follow Mr. Gill and not me. Amy followed me to the closet. There it is, I said. I pointed to the floor of the closet. Where, not Miami, asked. Where, Mr. Gale asked. Where, I wondered. Not me, Amy. Not me, Amy's cupcake was not on the closet floor. It's okay, Mr. Gale said. You can, you can both have um, some of my dessert, Mr. Gale said. Gave us some raisins. No, I told him. It's not okay. I must find a cupcake. I'm a I'm a detective, and detectives solve mysteries. I thought about the cupcake, and I said, I thought about the detective bag. I wanted to use my code breaker to help me solve this mystery, but there was no code. I wanted to use my walkie-talkie, but who would I talk to? Then I looked at Not Me Amy. She wanted to eat the raisin. She wanted to, but she was having real trouble because she was wearing gloves. Gloves, I thought. I don't need my code breaker. I don't need my walkie-talkie. It's hard to move. I just sold. Okay. Sorry, guys. The phone fell. I just solved the mystery. I said. I told not me, Amy. You weren't wearing gloves in class. You put them on. On at lunch, not me. And you looked at her gloves. Then she looked at me. Where did you put your gloves? I asked. My mother gave them to me. She said, "Don't you keep your gloves in your pocket, your of your coat, in the pocket of your coat?" I asked. Yes, she said. You didn't have your coat at lunch, so where did you put your gloves? I didn't. I didn't wait for not me, Amy, to answer my question. I answered it. Your gloves were in your lunch. Your lunch bag, Mister Gale said. That's a strange place to keep gloves. He was right. Usually is on the bus this morning. I said we hurried back to put our things away. I think you put your gloves in your lunch bag and your cupcake in your coat pocket. Not 
me. Amy went to the closet. She reached into the pocket of her coat, and there was a coat, and there was it, and there it was. She found her spinach noodle cup cake. Not me. Amy shared it with me and Mr. Gale. Guess what? Her spinach, spinach noodle cupcake tasted great. Not me, Amy promised to give me Miss and Mister Gill the recipe from the kitchen. A recipe for decorations. Not me, Amy. Jeffrey Bones and Mister Gill to make your own spinach noodle cupcakes. Uh, just add a cup. Of cooked spinach, dual to your regular cupcake recipe. Of course, only cook, only cook or bake with it. With the permission. what permission and supervision? Su what? In the supervision. Supervision oh, of a re oh, responsible a responsible adult. Okay, the end. Bye.